Snow Falling on Cedars by David Gutterson was published in 1994. The novel opens in 1954 in the small town of Amity Hill, the fictitious island of San Pedro in Washington's Puget Sound is the setting of a trial. Kabuo Miyamoto is charged with the murder of a fellow fisherman, Carl Hain Jr. Carl's body was discovered in his nets by the sheriff and his deputy. A fracture in Carl's skull cast suspicion on his death. Evidence points to Kabuo. In addition to fishing, Farming is a major industry on San Pedro. Many Japanese worked these fields and became members of the community. After the bombing of Pearl Harbor in 1941, however, people of Chinese descent were sent away to internment camps. In 1954, there is still lingering distress towards the Japanese and the prejudice is an unspoken but important force in Kabuo's trial. Duterson structures his novel around the trial, the only event told in chronological order. As each witness takes the stand, Duterson allows the reader to enter that character's mind and witness important experiences related to the trial or not in his or her life. Duterson also introduces the reader to Ismail Chambers, the town's newspaper reporter and a veteran of the war. In his youth, Ishmael had been romantically involved with a beautiful Japanese girl named Hatsue Imada, who is now Kabuo's wife. Ishmael and Hatsu kept their relationship secret, meeting in a large hollow cedar in the woods. Hatsu felt guilty for keeping her romance hidden from her family. Ishmael was a romantic who believed that their love would conquer all obstacles. When Hatsu and her family were forced to go to the internment camp, Mansanar, the romance ended. Hatsu was ready to break off the relationship with Ishmael anyway, so she sent him a letter. Ishmael reacted with profound bitterness and hate. Duterson presents Ishmael's wartime experience, which includes most notably the loss of his arm. This experience sharpened Ismail's feelings of bitterness and resentment. When he returned from the war, he occasionally saw Hatsu with Kabu and their children. Rather than move on with his life, Ismail allowed his bitterness to consume him. At the beginning of Kabu's trial, Ismail sees the events as a potential opportunity to get back into Hatsu's life. As the trial continues, details of a land deal gone wrong are revealed. In 1934, Kabuo's father, Shen Hishi, made arrangements to secure seven acres of strawberry fields from Carl Hain, Sr. Because foreign-born Japanese were not allowed to become citizens and because only citizens could own land, Shen Hishi and Carl Sr. worked out a lease to own arrangement so that the land would be paid for by the time American-born Kabuo would be old enough to own it. Although Carl Sr. was a sympathetic man, his wife Ita disapproved of the deal and felt that Japanese were beneath them. When the Japanese Americans were sent to the internment camps, Carl Sr. assured Shen Hishi he was not to worry about the land. Carl Sr. died in 1944, however, and because Shen Hishi missed the last two payments on the land, Eta sold it to someone else and returned Shen Hishi's money. When Kabuo returned home and discovered what had happened, he was angry and offered to buy the seven acres from the new owner, but the new owner would not sell. Without land, Kabuo opted to support his family as a fisherman. Years later, the land owner was no longer able to work the land and sold it back to Carl Jr. Kabuo spoke with Carl about the possibility of buying the land from him. Carl agreed to consider it. The facts of this land deal gave Kabuo apparent motive to kill Carl, which only made his case more difficult to defend. As the trial nears its close, Ishmael visits the lighthouse to find weather information for the newspaper. 
he discovers the watchman's notes from the night of Carl's death and they contain information that would exonerate Kabo. A freighter had passed by Carl's boat, throwing off a powerful wall of water that would have knocked a man overboard. Ishmael keeps the notes until he decides whether to reveal his discovery or keep it secret. He hopes that if Kabu is imprisoned or executed, he will be able to win Hatsu back. While the jury wrestles with the verdict, Ishmael reveals the contents of the notes. The jury is released, Kabu is freed and Ishmael is finally able to consider a new life for himself. He makes peace with his painful memories and begins looking to the future.